Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3. This is being played on PC. In the last video, um, our uh, main character, who is a paladin, he is a human paladin, uh, ran into a bunch of people. We were all infected with a, um, a tadpole uh, and we're supposed to be turning into mind flayers, but uh, for some reason it doesn't seem to be taking uh, any effect. So we're still learning about a couple things. We ran into Gale, our wizard over here, our human wizard. We ran into Asterion, our uh, elf uh, rogue, and then our human cleric, Shadowheart. I believe she's a human. Um, but yeah, uh, a couple of mysteries happened. Um, we landed and we ran into Gale. He was coming out of a, he was halfway between a waypoint portal. And then we ran into Asterion who tried to attack us because he thought we were a, uh, a thrall of the Mind Flayers, and we ran into Shadowheart. Uh, she has this artifact um, that we don't know anything about yet, but hopefully we find out soon. Uh, we just entered a tomb. Um, we coerced a lot of the outside occupants to leave, and then we had to fight some of the people that was inside. And Asterion was doing some weird shit down here while we were camping. I don't know what that was about, but hopefully we find out soon. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and run through the dungeon. Uh, so let's see. We need to go here. Let's see, we have rows of books. Let's see, what stuff do we have here? A rustic chest, unclaimed. What is that, a book? In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale of faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand, no voice whispered instruction in her ear, no guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going, and still, the goddess did not come for her de devotee. Kelimvor pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This, this cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that not for not of forgetting, but being forgotten. Seems like somebody who was dead and was waiting for death, or somebody who wasn't dead, uh, but was waiting for death to take them. I think that's probably what that was about. We just rolled for perception. Let's go ahead and take that. Oh, wait, what's this? A lever? I wonder if that opened up the door that was locked back there. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grobian tipple, ill matter. Uh, ill matter, drowning. Ivane Arkinson, Ogma, eternal rot. Devrin Stout, Saloon Fever. Sorry if y'all hear like some banging in the background. There's like something going on outside and it's kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and check that door. And it is open. Yes, yeah, so we opened up that door. Um, let's go ahead and step inside. What do we got here? Nothing. All right, let's go ahead and open up this door. Hmm, Dank Crypt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save. We got an opulent chest over here. Glass chalice plate. We're gonna take that. Not exactly anything that we really need, but we're gonna take it anyways. Alright, so we're gonna take that. We got a what is that, a gilded chest? Silver band, okay. On death and resurrection is a book here. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatex, rebound by Iosifa e Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier, uh, Denier, I'm guessing maybe, for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatex, her God's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? 
far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we put aside the mysticism, uh, push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that is uh, that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but the chance to reread it. Clerics across the realm will uh, the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy, uh, wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they are where so eagerly uh, eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning uh, will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. So once again, we've learned about this... Uh, this uh, deity, Kelimvor, uh, Lord Kelimvor. Uh, I'm guessing he is probably the uh, a, a deity of death or a god of death in uh, this world. He seems to be weighing souls and such. Okay. Perception failed. Oh! Whoa. Traps, 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 traps. Okay, um, kind of scared to walk around. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay, there's a lot of traps around here. Watch how you go. All right, so we got a short sword, a bone. A trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. God, this place is freaking crazy Trap. all right we got ring mail armor um scale mail of vengeance disadvantage on stealth checks wait that's already what i'm equipped with that's actually really good armor this is heavy armor so yeah all right uh we'll take that soul coin these coins can power infernal engines all right we'll take those strange coin I wonder what it's worth. Um. Ooh, gold. All right. There's, there's, there's another pile of bones here. Uh, we got bones. Uh, what is this? Candle. All right, we're gonna save again. No trap disarm toolkit available. Oh, I need a. I need a. Oh uh, man, I don't have any. Something ancient must have uh, I don't have anything here. to disarm that. Damn, I bet there's something good in there too. Okay, so that's locked. I swear to God, if you walk on a trap, y'all see the trap. I swear to God, if y'all walk on it. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this door. Maybe we'll find a um a thieves trap. I mean, a, a trap disarmament kit or something. Well, that's locked too. Uh, okay. Is there like a lever or something maybe I missed? All right, so now that we stepped in here. Wait, a button? Could that had opened the door? Um, okay. What was that button for? Did it maybe deactivate something? 
I think maybe we can't do anything else. Oh well, um, might just have to leave out. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and just leave out. Um, don't... Yeah, let's go to the roadside cliffs. Uh, maybe if we get like a uh, disarmament kit or something like that, then we'll come back. Um, but I don't think there's really much we can do right there. Um, let's go up this way. to get used to his controls oh we got some people over here Zoru was right yellow as a toad and twice as ugly the thing's dangerous leave it for the goblins to kill and if it escapes how will you oh a guest your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare her lips don't move Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. All right. Rather demand for a woman in your position. Uh, rather demanding for a woman in your position. Um, your quarry looks dangerous, but I've handled worse. Leave it to me. Get to safety. Yeah. I mean, why not? We have to get a. Uh, we basically have to get an eight or higher. Okay. Cool. We hit an eighteen. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Now we have to hit more than a five. Oh, we could hit a one and we'd still be good. All right, so we hit 22. Uh, two. Uh, 21. Oh, never mind. That was four, not five. Duh, I'm stupid. I'm slow. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Nymessa's a really cool name. I like that. Enough gawking. Get me down. Uh, now that they're out of earshot, sure. All right, let's try to see if we can get her down. Um. And listen. I feel like we might need to shoot that down. Um, that might be the best bet. All right, so Asterion, do your thing. Careful, there we go. That works. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is it a crash? Things, a hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. So I'm guessing this uh, crèche is like a camp, basically. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Eh, Very yeah, well. you can go ahead. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crèche must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay, so... Shadowheart disapproved of that, but Gale approved of it. Shadowheart really does not like, uh... She really does not like Gifyanki. Must have been here a while. Alright, so she's leaving off. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and head up this way. Up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Hmm, okay. Oh, 
Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> oh yeah, they go to goblins. Oh, he caught two. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to defend against these. Oh, this guy. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, we're right here. Okay, alright. Um Let's go ahead and walk up. Come on, how you miss? He didn't even know you was there. All right, end the turn. I'll bleed every last one of you. Okay, so we are here. Let's go ahead and head to the edge right here. And we'll do, let's see, how much is this guy? High ground, he has 27 health. Come on, bro. Like, come on. How are y'all missing? You're killing me, Smalls. Like, how did you. How are two people missing at the same time? Oh, yeah, don't walk away. Everybody's missing. Oh, that buffed everybody? Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, I hope they can live. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run behind this guy. Hopefully we can kill him. I don't know. Lately, uh, I've been just missing everything. There we go. He's done. And Inquisitor's Might. Who's next on... All right. We're going to buff him since he's next. Oh, no, no, no. He's not next. Shadowheart's next. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and pass turn. Walk up behind this thing and done right no oh, he still has one hp left all right uh healing word Take your heal. there we go oh he gets buffs on both attacks that's actually really good Yeah, he gets buffs on both attacks, so he gets that plus two on both. That's actually really good. All right, so we got Gale now. Um, With haste. See if we can go ahead and take care of this. Please don't miss. All right, cool. You hit. So far, so good. None of the survivors have died yet. Seems like they're going to kill them before I even get to them. 
This bugbear is actually really strong, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump down. Breathe deep and move. Searing Smite. Yeah, it's a melee attack. Uh, there's nothing I can do about this. Uh, but we can... Buff everybody uh, here. One, two, and three. Stay focused. All right, so we're going to head down. We're going to see if we can use a guiding bolt to hit something. Let's go see if we can kill Zakrud. Boom. Nice. Oh, I thought that ended the fight for a second. I thought it was one of those if you defeat the uh, the leader that everybody will leave. Because, like, we got a lot of experience for that kill. Uh, dash. And we can actually dash all the way over there. And let's see. Okay, so firebolt. Hopefully that takes him. Boom! There we go. He's done. This bugbear has about 17 hit points left. He has seven hit points left. He's is he dazed? Is he gonna shoot a crossbow? Boom for the 12. There we go. And we won the battle. That was actually not bad. That was actually a pretty pretty easy fight. Tenacious. One inspiration gained. Oh, what does that mean? Alright, let's see if these got anything. Nope, nothing. Goblin Scimitar. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. We can go ahead and sell that probably for some good money. Uh, gloves of Power. Sleight of Hand. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a minus one D4 penalty to the targets. Um, attack rolls and saving throws. Okay. Uh, Morning Star. Okay. All right. Another step Let's go ahead and head through. So here we are in the Emerald Grove. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Don't mind me, you might hear me drinking. Um, I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Okay, more violence won't bring back those who uh, you lost. Stop and think. Uh, Alright, let's try to break this up. Oh, shoot. Um, add a bonus if we can. Guidance. Uh, total bonus, 5 to 8. So we need to hit at least a 10... We need to hit a 7 or a 10. Perfect. Alright, there we go. You're right. There's too much at stake. Shadow Heart approves. Right about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. Scale approves. The nice. goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. All right, so we took care of that little, uh, that little squabble right there. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Ken Biggs. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. 
Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Okay, uh, why are they forcing there you out? There several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Uh, let's see. Um... I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Their eyes flicker like flames. I just realized that. I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Honestly, I can care what less what uh, Asterion thinks, so Asterion can eat a bag of dicks for all I care, so. Let's see. Uh, we'll take that. The Hollow. Oh, is that a traitor? Aaron? It's about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Uh, let's see. Uh, we already know Just where the healer is. The oh, that's right. We still need to find out where the healer is exactly. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, okay. Uh, there are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. Okay. Um, I have a couple of these scrolls. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose I don't know. Let's see. We have a slashing like dragon's grasp. Can we stop shouting? A 7 to 15 what? item bludgeoning. I think I can wear that. I can throw this item apparently. Deals an additional 1 to 4 slashing damage to burning targets. Oh. Wait. If I use um the the I have the flame smite in my hand. I might be able to use that. All right, so let's see if we can take that. I have a lot of stuff to get rid of. So let's go ahead and get rid of this leather armor. Um, since I don't really need it. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. All right, let's give him a little something. To boom, there we go. We can barter that. Okay, so we got that dragon's grasp. Ring of flinging. The wearer gains a d uh d4 bonus to throw damage chain shirt okay um take one less slashing damage i honestly have no idea what i should do here so we have this medium shirt i can go ahead and get her this is heavy armor i don't know how she deals with heavy armor but we can get her chain shirt plus one you know what? We're just gonna hold off on whatever it is that we have. So let's go to. There we go. Now, I gotta remember exactly what it is that we. Because I think we can have heavy armor on. I just can't remember. There was something weird. It was like, oh, heavy armor, you. Your wisdom will be what causes it, or some shit like that. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and equip these gloves, though. And I think that's pretty much about it. Know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. 
You would choose strangers over us. And we have some other sellers. Uh, what's this? Find the Geth Yankee Kresh. Find Zoru. Now pull back and swing. Aramis. Oh, there's Zoru right there. All right. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Wait, what? I press J for journal. Maybe we have to wait. We should be getting drunk at least. It's no fun waiting for death sober. Huh. Maybe we need to have um the Gith Yankee with me in order to do that mission. So I'll probably have to go back to the uh probably have to go back to the camp and get her out. go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back Ugh! let me through Radrush ever I'll rip your damn throat out oh okay well yeah that's right they're druids that makes sense okay so they have her daughter Give him a chance. You get back. Okay. Uh, for more for me, be overrun by goblins right now. I'll go where I please. Don't want to say that. Why? What's so special down there? I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me buy? Um. No. And you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Yeah, excuse me. You. Very important person coming through. Dark times. I'm getting dark. What is that? No, oh, it's a piggy. Oh, okay, a snake. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Okay. Um, she's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water... Then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Yeah, no, nah, we're not having that. I am versed in many ways of justice. Make your case and I will pass judgment. Alright, so we need to get, uh... Alright, we need to get at least a six. Alright, we're good. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return... These devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection right is complete. What do you I, have to say for yourself, child? I was scared. They said when the right was over, we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I, I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good. I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? Return the girl to her family. She's made amends, and you have your relic. Thank you. Thank you.
you, thank you. Sif, sif. Tila, to me. Gale approves. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. Thank you, Korga. What was that about? Halson isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Okay, so we ha we can talk to Gale and also Shadow. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Okay, rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. I'm the guessing since I I, he's approved me so much, maybe I'm in his confident good enough graces. confident to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly okay what kind of condition is this the specifics are rather personal but suffice it to say that it is a malady i've learned to live with though not without some effort what it comes down to is this every so often i need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside Okay, um, yeah. Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls, the form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital, dare I say it, critical. Um, let's see. I'd be happy to help. Yeah, sure. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I mean, this guy seems sure pretty cool. Look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Okay, all right. And what was I'm up with that hurt. artifact? You're wondering why I was in pain before. Well, no, not the artifact. Yeah, her hand. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Um, let's see. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Alright, um... Alright. What's the story with the old, um, the odd artifact? Uh, what do you think all has happened so far? We should get to know each other a little more. Mystery. No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? We have to rely on each other. Easier if we knew each other well. Easier is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. If you're not comfortable, Thank I won't you. press you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to this woman. I'm already not a big fan of Kaga. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Uh, only a monster would threaten a child. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. Honestly, I just wanted to see what would happen. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. 
No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Uh, let's see. Zevler believes his people will perish from the road. This right must be born of powerful magic. Uh, do which one. It's none of my concern. And yeah. Mine no, we're not gonna do that. If he stays, you showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Proud of all you want, the refugees aren't my problem. Then it seems I best speak you to Zevlor. You more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. You're talking a lot of shit, lady. I am not a fan of how she's talking to me right now. Oh, this is uh, Nettie. This is the healer. I see you. Just is, give me a moment. Is that a blue jay? Uh, let's get more important than some bird. All right, yeah, we'll wait. There, it's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Uh, healing. Looks like I came to the right I person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Uh, more than tired. Something crawled into my eye. Crawled yeah. in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth, and tentacles? Yep. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Oh, I hope I can help the... I wish I could help the bird. Let's look at the druid Head notebook. This is an ancient notebook whose ink has faded and pages are starting to crumble. It's not easy, but some words can still be made out. Catheric is finished, but it costs us the land. Darkness has fallen. Corruption is everywhere. Chased by shadows, picking us off. Druids and harpers alike. Our wounded are safe. I return, searching for survivors. Lost, but I found his shade. I put it to rest and took his glaive. Blade infused with shadow. I have locked it away to serve as a reminder that even victory can taste bitter. Huh, okay. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Did Dro and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Uh... I can merge my mind with anybody else infected. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Um, Protected from on high. Yeah, I want to know what happened with that. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. 
If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Uh, I thought you can cure me. What about the branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. Asterion, you can kiss my ass. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. I like Nettie. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, what do you mean should be changing? You must have learned something from studying them. Just tell me if there's a cure or not. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though? It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Uh, so you think it's a matter of time? You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. All right. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I found Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Okay, so we have um, we got the wyvern toxin in case things uh get bad. All right, so let's head back out of here. Let's talk to this guy, Wrath. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Okay, so not all of the druids are just like Kaga. She's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more crazier. Uh, not exactly crazier. What's the word? Um, not reckless. I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. Uh, swear an oath to stop terrible deeds like that. Monsters like her. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Uh, how did Kaga take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halsin's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gain. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. If no one's looking for Halson, I could do would it. Would you? Yeah, I was going to do it anyways. I would give anything to see Halson return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halson is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. 
You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. So that's what you want. Okay, so we need to go ahead and um, we need we need to go ahead and grab Halson. Because it seems like Halson's a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit nicer than good old Kaga. Uh, actually, I want to know if we can buy a thieves, um, what should we call it? Volo? What? Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. This man's eccentric. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins led by a lasher flanked by booyogs. Uh, they were goblins, same as all the others, lowly and vile. Uh, give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? A dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon last question then you'll be quite free did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates uh last question then you'll be quite free did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates they called out their name like a war cry they did, didn't they? Oh, oh Did curious. they do that? I can't remember. Curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Okay. Um. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Okay, uh, let's see. Wait about our conversation. Oh, why the dragon? Be careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Um, is he gonna sell me anything? I must prepare to travel. Good day, my. F oh, okay. I thought that guy sold stuff. Um, because it has like a little thing right here, but I guess not. All right. Yeah, I wonder if I can uh, buy like one of those. Whatchamacallit? Uh, thieves, the trap, the trap disarming things. Oh, that's right, the, the parents. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Ah, uh, no problem. Do without her. I hope we'll never. I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. I saved your daughter. Got anything more? That thanks me for. Um... Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Okay, so we got Kamira's locket, dancing lights. Gail can absorb this item's magic, destroying it. The druids don't care about us. No one does. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and equip that onto myself. Wait, what does that thing even do? Illuminate a nine meter radius. Oh, okay. So we can just kinda like see a little bit better in the dark. Oh wait, that was a salesman. Mattis? Okay, let's go see what they have. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. 
I don't know why I thought this kid was about to flip me the bird. It's lucky. I don't know if I should take it. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Huh, I wonder if I could slight a hand him and make it disappear. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let's see. Alright, so we need to get at least a 12. Oh, okay, good. We got it. This would be fun. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails. Let's go ahead and heads. Let's go ahead and do heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Uh, let's see. You got it. One sec. Alright, so let's see what the kid got. That's what I got. Rolled perception. Wrong. Thieves tools. Enable to open locks based on a sleight of hand check. Um, the tools break on an successful attempt. Alright, so we didn't really get anything good. He doesn't really have anything good. I was kind of hoping to find uh, something to break. Uh, something to nothing disarm a trap. Eyes, huh? I don't want to tell him his junk. You realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. Ah, oh, God. I knew it. Okay, so let's see. Um, find your belongings. By children, no less. They distracted us. We should have a word with them. All right. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Moll. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. Wow. Already we're on the journey to find my stuff. So, let's go ahead and grab my stuff. Hold on, exactly what was taken? I don't know exactly what was taken, but I'm pretty sure whatever it was, I want it back. But maybe I'll get more. Can't use it right now. What do you mean you can't use it right now? What do, you, what do you mean we can't use it right now? Is it because... Is it because we're too small? I think it's because I'm too small. I mean, I'm too big. Let's talk to this little kid right here. Me? Suspicious? No? Tell me the truth or I'm feeding your ass to a bear. I don't like intimidating a kid, but uh, I want my stuff back. Stop yelling at me or I'll call Mole. She should. Mole's tougher than anyone. She... Um, I wasn't supposed to say her name. Anyway, I won't say anything else. You can't make me, even if you murder me. Before you can say anything else, she sprints away. Your mother and I have done. Okay. I mean, can I do it? Can I use it now? Hmm. I still can't use it. All right, I'm gonna have to talk with this kid. 
little ish. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? Hmm. I don't know how I get in through there. But if I talk to this other little kid. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Search the rocks for an opening. Let's go ahead and add a bonus. Oh no, I rolled wrong. Roll again, inspiration baby. There we go, we got it. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle though. No way to open it. Let's break it. Lock picking is impossible. Oh, great. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's talk to this person. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Okay, um... Flat rock. Calm down. Please. Oh, never mind. Just sit there. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. All right. Um, let's go see if there's any other people who sell anything around here. Maybe see if we can buy um a trap disarming kit. All right. I need to buy some stuff from somebody. So let's see if any of these sellers over here have anything. Okay, so we have Okta here. You. They probably so sell like food. Those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Sure, why not? I'll take a bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Alright, so we got some gruel. There's... Oh, Auntie Ethel? Where's Auntie Ethel? Why is she all back here? Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. You need a bath. Hey, bother. Alright, so she doesn't have any either. Potion of invisibility... Coraline's Grace, um, what is this, the quarterstaff, uh, you gain plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage, uh, while the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws, um, yeah, I don't need any of that, Take care now, sweetie. so I don't need any of whatever that was, um, there's another seller, this guy, right? Damon. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltaro. Let me see your wares. Ah, uh, you don't have any either, but he has a lot of weapons. And we have a short sword. That is a beautiful looking short sword. That is actually a really gorgeous looking short sword. Uh, spear, javelin, we have a hunting bow, uh, crossbow, not bad, not bad. But a lot of this stuff don't really care about. This is heavy armor. Alright, yeah, we're just not gonna get anything. Alright, anyways. 
let's go ahead and make our way out. Um, that's where Druid Housen is. That shit is deep. All right, so we're gonna start making our way over towards Druid Housen, and that's going to be our destination. So. Yeah, we're going to cut through here. Wait, what? Oh. Caustic bulb. Alright, we'll take that. Um, uh, am I going the right way? Actually, let's go back towards the roadside cliffs. Let's go towards where the Emerald Grove um, entrance is, and then we'll make our way in the opposite direction. Yeah, so we'll go over here. And we'll cover this side, because then we'll go west from here. Is that a, a crushed spike trap? Wow, that trap looks dangerous. So, do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much... All right, so yeah, we're just gonna go this direction. And what do we have here? We have a forest. Um, oh, something's happened over here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and save real quick because I do not want to get killed. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Okay. Uh, examine the boar's corpse. So we need to roll a... Alright. We... We just got it. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? You know something about this, don't you? Do I want to intimidate him or do I want to persuade him? All right. I would roll a critical miss. Yes, I know. It's a waste of our time, and I'm done indulging you. Wow, we would roll a straight one. Ooh, that sucks. Booty. All right. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest potato. Fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. No. We'll take that onyx and gold. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Oh, just a random save. I didn't even do that. Travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Ah, we got a trap disarmament kit. Take all of that. I might have to make my way. We might have to make our way back to um to that area to disarm whatever it was. Sure. In silence. Goblins ahead. Looks like they're laying an ambush. Okay, we're not gonna go attacking enemies while you are hiding will catch them by surprise and will give you an advantage in combat. I'm not going to be. Yeah, I'm gonna fall back a little bit and go around. Uh, 
because I do not want to run into an ambush. That's curious. Wait, what did we just perceive? Wait, what's that? A burrow? And we just got a level ups off of that. So let's go ahead and check out our levels. Paladin level three. All right. Class features, level one uh, spell slot, divine health, prevents disease from affecting you. That's nice. Uh, Vow of enmity, uh, gain advantage on attack rolls against enemy. Uh, frighten an enemy, they'll be easier to hit, cannot move. Fiends and undead have disadvantage on this saving throw. Okay, oath spells, bane. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and prepare. I think I'm pretty fine with what I have. Raffle smite. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep what we have, right? Oh, wait, no, wait. Bless, cure wounds, compel duel. Oh yeah, we do have searing smite, Never mind. All right. Wits and blades always Go ahead and level up Shadow Heart. All right, so we've got spells, uh, level one spell slot and a level two spell slot. Mirror image and pass without trace. Okay. So now we have a uh, level two um, abilities. Heal all allies you can see. So it's like a massive heal. So I only have, let's see. Guiding Bolt is actually really strong. We're going to take out that. Since we have a massive heal, we'll take that out and we'll put in another level two spell. Let's see. Hold person, spiritual weapon. Summon a floating spectral weapon that attacks your enemies alongside you. Uh, bestow a magic a uh, magical enhancement upon an ally. They gain advantage on ability checks within a chosen ability. Um, let's try the spiritual weapon. Watch your back. Asterion. Okay, next. Arcane Trickster. Interesting. Assassin. Thief. I think we're going to go with Assassin. Yeah, we're going to turn him. We're gonna, he's going to be an Assassin now. And then for Gale. All right, so we gain two spells. Okay, Scorching Ray and let's see, Scorching and Cloud of Daggers, spinning daggers that attack anyone inside. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty dope. Why not? I don't even know exactly a lot of these spells. I don't know exactly how to use them. So, no yep. Stopped me yet. And let's go ahead and check out this burrow. Backpack. Five of them. Nice. I, need to find a way forward. I thought that was going to be like a secret to go down or something. Like, maybe there was going to be like a little tunnel I can go down. Close to getting a slap. Wait, what the hell? Auntie Ethel? Enough. We know you have her. Do you have Please. someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate? Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Okay, you're lying. I've, you have seen this girl. Uh, lower your weapons. I know this lady. How about all you just calm down? What's going on here? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. What Bloody the hell? hell? She just disappeared. 
So and Auntie Ethel like was actually out here just catching she bodies? Shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rina. It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! All right, um... I'll bring her back. Joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. Shadowheart no disproves whatever Shadowheart. But Joel, not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now come on. She could disapprove all she wants. I do not care. So saving the camera can't move any further away from your character. Move your character to keep exploring. Oh, okay. All right. Um so we have the sunlit westland, uh, wastelands over here. Uh, what is this? Save the refugees. Druid Housen. Um, I don't know where that quest is for saving Marina. Uh, but it seems like there's a... Quite forward with your compliments earlier. It seems like there's a, whatchamacallit, a waypoint over here. So I'm going to see if we can open that up. More now than ever. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Holy crap. I'm going to fail this. I have to hit a 20. You know how lucky I have to be? I have to hit a 20? Or possible 3 off of this and hit 17. Oh my god, so failed that. Is something gonna attack me? The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Something's gonna attack me. Take those apples. A loving note. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. Oh, she's on some Snow White shit. It's like a trap. Trap where? I'm kind of scared of this place. There's a sheep there. Okay. Let me see if I can see this waypoint first before I. Brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Well. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful. And I have a cleaver. They ate the apples, didn't they? Well, there goes Demir. Uh, where's the other one? Alright, so. Now that we have hit that, let's go ahead and head back over to these ruins. Um, and seeing what we can do about that. Uh, because I do have a trap disarmament thing, so now we can go ahead and run... Uh, over here and go inside and possibly see if there's any good loot. I wish there was a faster way for them to move. They kind of just like go at a jog's pace. I hope there's like something good down here. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Oh, back here once again. It'd be crazy like if we came down here and it was like repopulated with like goblins or something. Oh, I wonder if I'm ever going to find like a beholder or something like that. Like whenever I know about, um, whatever I know about like d and is like beholders and stuff like that. That'd be pretty dope. Okay. Um, all right. So we just did a quick save. Let's go ahead and head over here and try to disarm this. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Alright. So we have to roll a 10. Let's go ahead. 
All right, we got a 19. Oh, well, no, that automatic. Okay, yeah. All right, what do we get here? The Watcher's Guide. We have a, what is that, a spear and an engraved key. All right, so let's take that key. So now that we have the key, let's go ahead and see if we can open this up. Nope, still locked. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can open up that door then, since we have a new key. I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil here. Open sesame. Let's go. Let's go ahead and light the breeze here. No sign of a struggle. Let's see. Quarterstaff, scroll of burning hands, gold. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Now we have another dagger. Ooh, some more gold. Okay. And yeah, cut plate. It's a bunch of dead corpses in here. Oh yeah, we're gonna take all the gold. Jurgle? I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Oh, okay. So we have some kind of uh The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay, so we don't know the language. Anything over here? Over there. Oh, we got a button. <laughs> well, that's not good. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Um Let's go ahead and Let hide. The darkness can be to our advantage. And sneak attack. Ooh, that was a solid 13. Hmm, ray of frost, okay. Alright, so we got a boy over here. And spell slot one. Okay. Magic missile. Torment. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, how much damage was that? Eight and that's six. That's oh, okay. Nice. Fourteen. He has one left. Got to focus. Got to press on. Can I hit him with a? F can I hit him with a firebolt and end his life? Ah, we missed. Yeah, it was forty percent. So, oh well. Shield of faith. Um, go ahead and put that on Gale. catch my breath with haste. And um, let's see. Let's go ahead and bless everybody else but me. Mark a creature as your quarry to deal an additional slashing damage whenever you hit him with a weapon attack. Uh, compel an enemy to attack only. You can attack other creatures. Uh, okay, I can't hit anybody else with that. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn right there. Oh, I didn't even see this guy over here. Silence? Really? That's what we're doing now? we over here silencing people? Oh, so it's a it's a silent field period. So he silenced too. So it also works against them. All right. Um 65%. There we go. He's done with. Um Let's go ahead and walk out of there. We're no longer silenced. And, uh, they will know hide. Hiding successful. Ah! 
And he missed. Nice. So now we're going to walk out of the silence. And let's see. Hit him with a straight up fire bolt. Alright, so we got him for five. Heading there. Boom, 12 damage, nice. And now nah, we don't need that. Uh, and end so turn. Is all that matters. At the ready. It kind of sucks because, like, being melee, a lot of the times, a lot of these enemies are really just out of my reach. So I'm going to go ahead and bless myself now, and... Oh, wait, I was supposed to... Oh, well. Another silence? Really? Y'all are violating me. And you missed again. I'm still hiding, so... Let's go over here. And I'm silent still? Jesus. Alright. 4 to 7, 6 to 19 damage. I must have an advantage against the target. I'm, I don't have it already. Interesting. I thought I already had it. All right. Anyways, um, concentration broken. Silence. Okay. And offhand attack. Unleash me. And we're gonna go ahead and step outside of this. Magic missiles. And who's next? I think this guy is next, right? Yeah, but he's about to die, though. So the next person after him is this guy. And he's done. Let's go. Guiding Bolt. Let's see. Damn, we missed. Finally, we're going to be able to attack with my guy. I want to. I've been trying to use this searing smite for like the longest. Um, but also, let's see. Hold on. There's divine smite. I think this would be really good against. Ooh, twenty-one damage. Oh, that was sexy. I was hoping that. It, oh, okay, yeah. All right. So he's going to try to hit my boy with the ray of frost. That's fine, because he's about to die. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hide, and then snipe him. 99% damage. I mean, 99% chance. Boom. That was actually really good. That was a really good fight. My guy does a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and check out this heavy chest. The Amulet of Lost Voices. Speak with the dead. The dead hold no secrets from Jargal's scri Scriveners of Doom. All right, we're going to take all of that. And then we're going to put that amulet on our cells. And then we're going to give this amulet to Shadowheart, who's going to then equip that. Shadowheart's underwear. Well, didn't even know that was a thing, apparently. Interesting times. Oh. Oh, is this guy going to join my party? He looks like a necromancer. That's what I'm, I'm getting, that he's going to be a necromancer. And he looks like one. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Um, what's the reason Curiosity. for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Um, sure. So, I ask again. 
What is the worth of a single mortal life? I hope there's really no bad answer. Um, depends on the virtue of the life that is lived. I'm curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Okay, so maybe not now. Mud Mephit Wing, uh, Malachite, Gold, and a Soul Coin. I'll take all of that. Okay. Uh, is that everything here? Okay, so nothing in these vases. Nope, nothing. Alright. Oh, that was rather interesting. So we will see each other again at some other point in time. Um, let's go ahead and check over here. What is this? Like a well? Is that a lever? Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything over there. Let's go ahead and check out this iron ladder. Okay, vines. Oh, okay, so that's leading up to over here. Okay. But there's still also... Wasn't there another door? Or, wait, what's over here? Can I walk into this water over here? I'm guessing I can't. Yeah, we can't. All right. Sometimes the camera is a little bit wonky. But there's still this door. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, is that the, uh... Is that the door that leads out to the front? The door that we couldn't open before? We still can't open it. Uh, maybe we missed a button or something. I don't know. All right. Anyways, um, I think we're pretty much done here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and head out to the Riverside Tea House. Is that gonna take us back to where? Yeah, that's gonna take us out over here. All right, guys, and we're going to end the video here. Um. So we had a pretty good adventure. Um, we got a lot of story in this one. Not really a lot of fighting, but we got some story. So now we have to, uh, we found Nettie, uh, which was the healer of that place, but she is not uh, the best of the druids that can heal. So we now need to find Halson, who is the uh, commanding druid who was uh, captured, I guess, trying to find out what was going on with the tadpoles and why everybody was being affected. And hopefully we can get him back to the Emerald Grove so that he can convince Kaga, uh, Kaga whatever her name is, um, to not be as uh, reckless as she is right now. Uh, we also went and got the... Um, disarming kit we found a new guy a dead creature ghoul looking thing <laughs> um as a person who has never played dungeon and dragons this is actually very interesting um i've always wanted to play stuff like dragon age origins and but i feel like dragon age origins feels very outdated and i would like to see them remake that game but anyways guys i'll catch you guys in the next chapter of baldur's gate 3 and peace out